I am going to the grocery store this morning to do Tiptoe's weekly shop, so I'm gonna bring you guys along so we can learn a little bit more about Tiptoe's diet and what went into getting him from this teeny tiny size to the large and luxurious boy that he is now. Wow. It is 9.49. I'm gonna close his doors back up because I think he needs just a little bit more beauty rest. This little part on my car broke when I was moving the Prindle, so it's not ideal. In a perfect world, I would get all of Tiptoe's groceries either through our own garden, from the farmer's market, or a less expensive way. However, today we are going to a nice grocery store because I know that they're gonna have a good selection during the winter and it's just the motion of the ocean of the day. It's what we have to do for Tiptoe. I feel guilty going and getting a bunch of stuff for Tiptoe and not getting anything for Grace. Haul of what, what we got Tiptoe for the week. 75% of Tiptoe's diet is grass and hay and he eats that for breakfast every morning and by the time it's like 1, 2 p.m. we give him his second meal snack of the day which is a dark leafy green. We have had Tiptoe for 22 years and there is so much conflicting information on what goes into a tortoise's diet so over the years we've learned a lot, we've made a lot of modifications and this past year when we met with a vet, we had them write out a list of what would be like appropriate for Tiptoe. I mean, he's a big guy, eats about the size of a shell and food every day. So we have to keep new foods rotating in and out, get, you know, multiple sources of nutrition and whatnot. So we go with the dark leafy green every afternoon. This week, we're gonna have some kale, some dandelion greens, which evidently dandelion greens, like the, benefits from them are crazy like humans should be eating those too so that's gonna be added to the diet not orange carrots but these are actually <laughs> red carrots so that'll be fun and he loves the greens on these so maybe we'll snack on these and then make something fun with that I already showed the aloe vera but this is no actually I didn't in this one got him one fun food item a big piece of aloe vera once you cut into that it is very stinky but he he loves it and a nice thing of romaine. So Tiptoe has some good food on the menu. I'm gonna make him a little snack plate with a little bit of each today, see what his preference is so we know, we know what is high on the priority list for him this week. And it's gonna be delicious and tasty. Eat your greens. Tiptoe knows what he's doing. My mom is so cute. She put up Tiptoe's calendar. I love it. Let's see what's gonna be January, February. Oh, March. I love March. Good month. Tiptoe got himself up, opened those doors, and he is in his breakfast spot waiting for some eats. I made him a little concoction of a few leaves of everything that he's gonna be dining on this week. So I think that this is gonna be perfect breakfast. Let's, let's see T, what do you want first?
some more. Hi, buddy. Oh, careful. Oh, finger stuck. a little bit of something on your lip. I know. I bet that's so tasty. I know my nails aren't red anymore, so they are not as enticing. is absolute non-negotiable. Like I mentioned earlier, Tipto eats about the size of a shell in food every single day. 75% of his diet is grass and hay, so that is a, that really puts a dent in on what we're feeding him every day. And we buy these ginormous tubs of hay off of Amazon. We get like, I think it's 30, 40 pounds, and it is, I believe like $30, something, something of the sort. Grace, my beautiful dog, always loves to come in and try to steal some of Tiptoe's hay, chews on it for a bit, and then coughs it up. So I do try to keep her out of it as much as I can, but in this house, it really is the animal's world and we are just enjoying our time on the sidelines. I'm going to add a scoop of our calcium powder to his hay. He gets this every single day, again, per our vet's recommendation for tea. I'm just gonna put a little scoop of that. Oh, Grace, you are so naughty. I just put a little scoop on that. Sorry, Grace's big hulking body was in the way, but again, animals are winning. Tiptoe's diet is pretty basic. 75% of his diet is the grass and hay. 20% of his diet is our dark leafy greens, flowers, and the additional 5% is fruit. I roll my eyes at that because fruit is his favorite thing to eat, yet it is the food item that he is allowed to have the least of because it is very high in sugar and can affect development, shell growth. You can see how Tiptoe has a pretty smooth shell. Oh, I got your secret spot, okay. He has a pretty smooth shell which just reinforces that we are feeding him a good diet, but if they are fed an improper diet, they tend to, to grow upwards in a cone or a pyramid. It is called pyramiding. So we do try to keep our fruit levels down and keep his nutrition in check. A healthy diet makes for a very, ooh, makes for a very healthy boy. Tiptoe is showing some lines of growth, which we thought he would be done with. So we may have a growing boy on our hands. As you can see, these white lines, those are, those are our growth lines. Very sensitive shell today. He feels everything on a shell, just like we feel on our fingernails. So some days he's a little bit more sensey. And today, you have the wiggles. Oh yes, you do. Okay. Sweet thing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any comments, questions that you guys want answered about Big Boy Tea, please write them in the comments and like and subscribe as it really supports our channel. So thank you, peace and blessings, and have a beautiful day.